Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome to, oh, it's my first live stream in absolutely ages. Lovely to have you with me. I'm hoping everything sounds okay. You can hear me okay, you can see me okay. Here we are in Blighty on the Wold, running in the background. It seems live, yes, it does seem live. Am I going to use Hugo there today? I am going to use Hugo there today. Uh, let me change that to live chat. So hopefully, I know there's going to be a little bit of a latency between your comments in the chat and me seeing them and replying to them and all that sort of stuff. But hopefully, if, so, if somebody could type something in the chat, <laughs> I'd be able to find out whether you can you hear me or not. Perfect. Someone, ah, somebody on Discord said perfect. Aha. So welcome to the stream. Oh, man, it was a bit of a nightmare trying to get everything. OBS wasn't too bad. Trying to get flipping City Skylines to actually load and work. Now, that was a whole other kettle of fish. Um, but, yeah, it looks like we're... It looks like we're doing okay. So have you got your cups of tea? I don't know what's going on with the chat. I don't seem to have any chat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restore the chat. Oh, what's this? Top chat stuff. So we've got a message from Debbie. Hooray. Catching you live. It's 11pm here in Brisbane. Thank you very much. I need a member for 33 months. That's what it's trying to tell me. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Lovely to have you with us. Now I can actually see the chat. I'm going to pop this out again. And see whether it keeps the chat going this time. Uh, today I fix the city. Next week, yeah. Somebody blows it up again. That son of mine. Overcharge egg. How you doing, Sakura? Do what Mr. O oh, there's loads of people. Hello. Hello. First time catching you live. You can see the game. Yeah, you won't be able to see me because I've got no webcam. Um, but in a minute, I'll stop the game scrolling around the views we've got going on here and we'll we'll take a look. But yeah, hello. How are you all? 609 viewers. Go cool, blimey, Governor Striker Light. I'm taking my jump rock. It's getting a bit hot in here. The sun is out. Oh, that's better. And I've got me heating on. Let's just turn that off. Otherwise, I'm going to be boiling. So, the idea for the stream today, let me tell you what's going on, is the building themes mod has worked perfectly fine for me for as long as I can remember. Thank you, Kids Talk Tech. has worked fine for me. I've had no problem at all with it. I've been told that it's been broken for a long time for most people. But for me, it hasn't. So I've just continued to use it and had no problems. Unfortunately, somehow between this save that we've got running now in the background, because this is the actual city you're, you're seeing here, um, and you remember the last thing we did? Oh, look, we've got all trees on the road. Okay, I'm not bothered about that. Uh, the last thing we did was build that park, wasn't it? Do you remember? The fantastic park. Um, between this save and that save, somehow building themes lost all the themes on the different districts. So I loaded up the game, was going to record an episode, and I noticed there's houses popping into different areas that shouldn't be there. So building themes has finally broken... Um, which is a real pain in the neck. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch from building themes uh, over to District Styles Plus, I think it's called, which is basically uh, an updated, tweaked version. And there is a way now to import your themes, which there wasn't before. So I'm glad they've added that, because without that, um, I don't think Blighty on the World <laughs> would have returned. So I can say, what uh, Doctor Who last week? What? Yeah, I know! If, no spoilers in case no one's seen the Doctor Who, but I I completely skipped the nothing against Jodie Whittaker, uh, you know, great actress, and it was just like the first couple of episodes, the new writer, it just bombed for me. It was like, oh, me and my wife usually enjoy Doctor Who, and we just like we can't watch it, so we just skipped it. Um, but the last episode, I know it was something big, and I actually already knew what was going to happen at the end as well, which was which was a shame. So I watched it, but yeah, he's one of my favorite doctors that's really good anyway i've almost given away spoilers there um okay so let's just come out of this scrolling around view and hope we've got no errors no we haven't good Whew. 
things are working. So, yeah, over here. Do, 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 do. Where are we going? I'm lost already. Yeah, here, look. No park here because we're loaded pre-park. Yeah, Jody got robbed. I think so. I think so. It's a shame. Oh, few candy. You here as well? Hello? Hello, everybody. Oh, I've got a little uh, donation thing. 70 czar. What is a czar? Dude, you're the best. All the way from South Africa. Oh, thank you very much. What does czar stand for? I really don't know. But Christian, Mathis, Grobler, that is very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. Wow, well, trying to keep up with the chat and do stuff as well. Uh, tomorrow here will be a new episode. Well, normally I release on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So this is the Thursday video. Ooh, got my fingers in the wrong place. This is the Thursday video. And then Saturday will be back again. Oh man, things are quite... Feel quite spongy with the manoeuvring in this in this city. We'll see how it goes. South African Rand. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you for your support. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to look through um, all the districts. So, this is some work that needs to be done. I thought, why not? Let's make it a live stream. Um, and then, you know, get into the fixed splice on the world and see how we go. But I need to go through these districts and make a notification, please have the information here, yeah, of what is in each of these. And I'm trying to think of the best way of doing this. And I'm just wondering whether I can just give myself a little document somewhere on the screen. Well, you won't see it. I will. On my other screen. Uh, if I go into my temp recording folder, start a new document, I'll just cut and paste stuff in. Let's do myself a spreadsheet. How much memory have I got? Ah, 69%. No problem at all. Districts. There we go. We'll open that up. Eggsy's here as well. I can see... I haven't seen you, but I've seen somebody talking to you. <laughs> so I'm thinking... But hello. Hello. If you can, yes, Eggsy, yes. Loads of people. Oh, thank you all for joining me. It's, it's great. It's great to see you. So can we do this in an organized fashion? Let's do this bottom section here first. So yeah, I first noticed when in my latest save, I loaded up this and like there weren't all of these houses in here. It was like weird random houses from the normal theme, which was a little bit odd. Yeah, there's no point me actually fixing things in here because this save isn't going to be saved again. So, what have we got here? Audley Medieval Park. So, what have you all been up to today? You've been having a... Uh, whoa, week. I'm going to add that to my list. You've all been having a fantastic day. Matty James Monk. Sorry I missed you. Didn't know. I had a couple without you. How much did you miss? You've missed nothing. You, you're fine. Um, and then I'm going to put over here on my list what that theme is. But thank you very much for your support. Appreciate that. 800 viewers. Thank you for joining us. Do a barrel roll. Are you talking to me? or? So this is the R jam. <laughs> Not sure I can do that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, while I'm sat on my chair. Uh, following my builds for quite a while. Love your stuff. Nice to finally catch a live stream. Yeah, thank you, Dion. Appreciate that. Larry Skylines, how you doing? Can't stick around a lot. Well, thank you for joining. Thank you for popping in. It's very kind of you. Uh, let's click on that. What have we got? Aldersgate Abbey. See, some of these, without these themes, just go completely mad. So, without getting all of these in and set up right. I haven't tested the uh, UK Terraced House. I haven't tested the import function from building themes into District Style Plus yet. So, I am wondering how that's gonna how that's going to go. Uh, who else we got in the chat there? Somebody in the language I can't read. Uh, paste in the same thing 50 times. So you will get a timeout. And if you do it again, you get banned. RSX messy. There you go. Oh, I'll tell you what I do need is I need the overall city theme. So let's have a look at that as well. So I'm going to put Blighty on the world on my list. Because I remember correctly... If I go into, whoops, go into policies, go into theme. So the British UK style is like the overriding theme. That's the way you want to set it. If you want everything to build in one style, unless you do a district with other styles. That's the uh, that's the idea. Uh, there we go. Yeah, okay, excellent. Uh, random question, would you ever consider an updated TerraTech? Nah, nah, 
That game's done. Finished. Jono! Two pounds. Thank you very much. Not been subscribed long, but love the videos. Thank you very much. Do you try the repaint mod? I haven't really... I probably... Sorry, just having a quick sip of tea. I've, I'm sure I've tried the replay mod, but <coughs> haven't used it in a long time. How's the tea going well, Matty? Thank you very much. So happy British Mac map is back. <laughs> the Mac is back. <laughs> that was a song, wasn't it? Return of the Mac. Yeah, thinking of something else. School holidays are going well. Good. Do I use Traffic Manager? I do just the latest stable version. Can you drink coffee while you're watching? <laughs> no, you can't. Oh, I'm only joking. Yes, you can. That's fine. Um, I'm not going to put down any districts that don't have a theme. Uh, so Orpington is just... I'll tell you what it is, like with Orpington, is I manually placed each one of these by hand. So it just didn't need a theme because there was no gaps for anything else. <laughs> that was a flashback. Secure. It was. It was. I'm going to test if my cough button works. If it didn't, you all got an earful then. If it did, that's great. <laughs> Another take your kid to work day. Yeah, they've, they've been uh, they've been happily busy this holiday. The last one sort of came about because my youngest was on his own. Um, why was he Why was he on his own? The other one, my oldest. What's the other one? My oldest one wasn't here. I can't remember. Uh, there was a reason. I know a reason. I know Croydon Gardens. But anyway, yeah, it was like oh, I felt sorry for him. Brought him to work and uh, yes, hilarity ensued. Christian Mathis Grobler, thank you. Name an area after me, please, like Christian's Park. Oh, thank you very much for your support. That's very kind of you. I, um, I, I won't do that now because, like I said, this save is just me getting all these names and then we'll go back to the, the modern up-to-date save. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much. I will make a note of your name in a sec and we'll see what we can do. Um, I don't normally do names of things of viewers at the moment. But let me take your name. Christian, Christian's Park. I'll add that onto the thing I'm doing here. Christian's Park. I'm sure we can come up with something. Thank you very much. That is very kind of you. Russell Peak. Mods are in the house, so watch it. Okay. Croydon Gardens done. Uh, I'll make sure I'm not missing anything. Done all of those. So then St. Giles West and East, I'm pretty sure, are both the same. Building theme, residential, low can't really see what it is but that's the only one. Oh, there's two there isn't there look so which one's that one it's like the second one let's get this st giles west it's this one building theme <laughs> residential no is that the one why has it got the name building theme residential oh it's gonna be this one look but it's like great you can't actually see the name mm. how's that gonna work How's that going to work? Do I know when CS2 is coming? Well, first of all, is it coming? That's the first question, because who knows? Uh, secondly, well, the answer to that would be no, wouldn't it? <laughs> because who knows? Included. So these are all the UK terrace ones. What's included in this one? Detached. Okay. So um, let's see what we can do here. Oh, my giddy aunt. What have I done? <laughs> Pressing buttons. Building. That's all one word. Building theme. Residential. Low. And then it's got you. And I have no idea what the rest of that is. So we'll have to sort of see what happens there. Overcharged egg. Five dollars. I think five dollars. It's like I default to dollars for something. Pounds. I think I may have had tea before i've got deja brew uh <laughs> thank you very much for your support i do appreciate that also what about cs3 now i know when cs3 is coming out <laughs> is there a way i can actually see all of this name there isn't is there that's like really annoying i can't right click on it i can't make this window bigger no okay well it's going to be the one that's got the uk terrorist Houses. I'm going to put a note on my thing. UK. Because I have no idea how this is going to work. And number two. I'll put the like slash number two. UK Terrace. 
And if I know that all that's in the theme, then I think we'll be okay. Right. So that's St. Giles West. I'm pretty sure St. Giles East is the same. Yeah. So I'm going to put West and East on my list. There we go. The CS3 is going to be bundled with Half-Life 3. <laughs> you could have said... Um, oh, what's the other game Paradox had just released? Ah. Oh. And Vicky 3. But it's, it's actually out. Victoria 3. Everybody was thinking, oh, it's never going to happen. And it actually appeared. Uh, Show Homes hasn't got one. Miles Oak Forest doesn't matter. T. Hampton Rise. That has 100% definitely got a theme. Yeah. Let's find out which one that is. UK Detached Housing. Okay. Have we got that written anywhere? No. UK Detached Housing. Okay. Cool beans. Save that. What are you all talking about? I'm sure Palace can count past three, just Valve has the issue. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, so St. Giles Commercial. Oh, yeah, that's got its own one as well. Let's grab that. Do you know, this isn't actually going to take as long as I thought it was going to. Oh, that's just UK. Very descriptive, that one. Well, that was easy enough. Transport Fever 2. Yeah. Oh, it's, just, it's one of those. Thornaby. The, I like it. I don't think enough viewers would. And at the minute, I'm trying to... Oh, Victorian Terrace. Just keep my channel sort of ticking along without sort of messing it up, with adding other things in. So, yeah, probably not. Cool beans, yeah. Good afternoon, Peter. Citizen Motion 3. I have no idea. Uh, this is like a different Thornaby, isn't it? Or have I got... Oh, I know what it is. I've got overlapping... Okay, so we've got Thornaby. I'm going to put left as I'm looking this way. Then we've got Thornaby middle, which is this one, which is UK Terrace Dark. So if we have a look at that one, and then we've got another Thornaby here. So this one goes round and there's that one. I know what I mean when we get there. But yeah, these have got this sort of dark version of the house, whereas these have got, like, the lighter version of the house. Hi, Fozzy. Well, hello to you. And wonderful. What happened with me and Paradox? You used to like the best CS... Yeah, I, I did used to do the... There's no problem. There's no problem with me and Paradox. I did the uh, mods of the month. That's what you're talking about, isn't it? Just decided to let someone else have a chance. I'd done it for... A few years. I don't think this has a theme. No. Um, and it takes a lot of time to do, you know. <laughs> Let's rebuild this even though it doesn't matter. Um, Princess Hay Park. No, Princess Hay Park. So actually, the amount of time that that would take to do, um, I decided let someone else have a go. Uh, T. Hampton Rise, we've done that one. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. Oh, Gunners Bree Common. I love these names. These are from the like randomized UK name thing. Oh, this is that theme that's spelled incorrectly. <laughs> See if you can notice what's wrong with the spelling. Uh, B O I T. I'm going to spell it wrongly as well. And uh, yeah, who's doing it now? I know who's doing it now. Oh, what's this? Another donation? Christian. If I name our priest like Chris Park. Is that the same one as before? If that's like another one, thank you very much. Or is that like there because it's the top thing? I'm so out of practice on chats. And bom, 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 bom. I think that the things are building things residential low UK terrace. The other one's building things residential low detached. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Am I British? British. Yeah, we don't have uh, we don't have all the letters of the alphabet in Britain. That's what it is. <laughs> Blighty on the Wild, your favourite. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, I really like Blighty on the Wild. I'll be, I'll be very happy to get it back. See, the, the annoying thing is, is I could literally carry on the save from here and building things would probably work, but then if it randomly breaks again in the future, that would be uh, a bit of a bummer. Right, what I'm going to do... So we know this is Audley Medieval Park over there. I'm going to just zoom in like that so you can see all the district names. If I do it like this, is it easier? Yeah. 
And I'm just going to read out the names on my list and make sure I've not missed any. So if you can keep an eye as well. And if there's any that I've missed, stick it in the chat. There is a couple that I haven't written down, like Orpington, Moulton. Yeah, we'll see what else is. Blighty on the Wold is the overall one. Audley, I've got that one. Aldersgate Abbey. Croydon Gardens. So we jumped over. St. Giles West and East, we've got that. T. Hampton Rise, we've got that. St. Giles Commercial, then we went back up here, we've got that. Thornaby, we've got that. Kensal Industrial Estate, we've got that. Francis Unson, your extraordinary attention to detail brings my city to life. And $10. Francis, that is very, very kind. Thank you very much. I'm working on my attention to detail. My attention to detail isn't always the best. You know, there's that there, you can be better, I think. I can I say you. <laughs> I don't know about your attention to detail. I can be better. So I'm working on it. But thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Shops and offices. So none of these have got any uh, themes. Moulton, no theme. North Sutton Business Park, no theme. Uh, do I play other games? Yeah, I play FIFA. Love a bit of FIFA. Civilization. Oh, somebody at the door delivering a newspaper. Um, and I've been playing Forager on my Steam Deck quite a lot. Why you don't use the old save? I could use the old save, but like I said, it would. We haven't got this park here, which I could maybe use move it to get it in. But the newer saves just don't load. There's like weird problems. Ah, oh, what's going on there? Olaf Herzog with four euros. Thank you very much. <laughs> He's got like a cool cup of tea thing on the end there. Excellent. Thank you very much, Olaf. Very, very kind of you. Um, but yeah, we need to switch over anyway. So I've got to load this one up to get all these names because on the newer save, if I load up the newer save with building themes, this is all empty. None of them have got any themes selected. So I wouldn't even know what was on what. Right, okay. I think we've got everything down here. Um, now we're just going to grab this bit. I'm going to start from this side and go that way. Because. Just because. Um, so I don't think this has got... I, it, there's hardly any themes up here. So we'll be through this in no time at all. Uh, no no themes on that one. Egg Buckland Park is the actual park. Hi, Bicky. Oh, man. Oh, it's been so long since I've played on it. I love this map. I'm so glad this is going to be working. I hope, please, District Styles Plus, you just got to work. You're my only hope. East, no, so there's nothing on there. Feltham. Hey, auto save. Quick sip of tea, everybody. It's now time for a tea break. Mm. We're 20 minutes behind. Don't worry, Kemar. You'll get there. Felton. Pretty sure we have a theme on here. Yes. Okay, Felton. Uh, so let's pop that one in there. British UK style, which is actually the main style anyway. So that one wouldn't matter. But I'll tell you what it is. I put it on there. But then I've got like all these ones I've manually placed. Them. Lots of manual, manual placing in the city. What's the problem with the city? Very briefly, it is the building themes mod broke. So I've got a update it and use district styles and it's just the process of moving from one to the other on that um yeah so it's west kettling how big is west kettling it's like huge isn't it okay west kettling that will have a theme okay that's british uk so the ones that are british uk style i technically don't have to even do that do i come on come out of that but this one again was all manually placed buildings i love these buildings Victor, I'm happy as well. Help me, District Styles Plus. You're my only hope. <laughs> How good are my first-person shooters? I don't play them, Theo. <laughs> so bad, I would, I would, I would say. Uh, did I see the couple built a British new build in Japan? No, I didn't. Sean, nineteen ninety-nine dollars. Thank you much. Thank you for the great content and tips. Well, thank you very much for watching and supporting. There's no boy racers and scooters. There probably is scooters around here. What am I doing? I've got a bit lost what I'm doing here. East Kettling. That's going to have a theme. Is that the same? Oh, no theme in East Kettling. Oh, no theme. Theme or no theme? It's like a new <laughs> It's a new game. The Wolds. Let's take a vote. Is it theme or no theme? I'm going to I'm gonna do a... 
Oh, I can't do like a vote thing, can I? Can I do a start kit start a poll? Okay. The world. Hang on, hang on. Theme or no theme? And I'm going to change that to say theme. I'm going to change that to say no theme. And I'm going to ask my community, which is you. Ask your community. There we go. Tell me what you said. Uh, really good TV. £10. Thank you very much. First time catching you live. Thank you for your vid and inspiration. You're welcome and thank you very much. Really good TV. <laughs> oh, dear. Theme or no theme. What are people saying? I can't actually see the... Oh, I can now. Oh, it's close. 57%. Say theme, 43%. Say no theme. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Let's get down here. I am live, Tim. You are quite correct. I might do this more often. I do enjoy live streams. Now I've got things set up. Again. That's, you're welcome, Jess, Jessica. Is that how I pronounce it? Jessica. You're welcome. Let's have a quick look at our little bus hub over here. It's working well. It's working well. Kmart, welcome to T Village Builder. Thank you for joining the channel. That's very kind of you. Clearly theme, Joel says. Well, we shall see. If all else fails, you can start a new British city. No, I'm not starting a new one. <laughs> I want to do the one that we've got. I want this one to be back here. Have I tried theming it with roundabouts? Oh, we do have roundabouts. You can see roundabout, roundabout. Roundabout, roundabout, roundabout. There's lots of roundabouts. I was driving somewhere today to drop my boys off with some friends. Oh, look at all the trees on this place. Because I've got the tree anarchy mod not set correctly when I loaded. <laughs> Whoops. Roundabout, roundabout, roundabout. I'm dropping my boys off with their mates. And uh, I drove through a little mini junction. And it was... It was like this sort of thing but with a roundabout on a T-junction, and it just made me twitch. It really did. I was like, no, nope, shouldn't have a roundabout on there. Come on now. All right, back over here. I think I'm going to end the poll. Oh, man, let's look at the votes. When am I going to upload the new episode? That The next video will be Saturday. End the poll. 63% said theme, and whatever the other... Oh, there we go. It says there, no theme was 37%. 408 of the people here voted out of how many are here one flipping cheese sticks 1093 of you well hello everybody uh, let's have a look the world uh, maybe if i click on the right screen which is the game new rule two pounds thank you very much for your support that's very kind of you thank you uh, let's actually have a look where the Wold District goes. The Wold is literally this little thin one that goes here on the river and nowhere else. So maybe some people would like to change their vote, <laughs> but it's too late. Let's have a look. The Wold. Theme? No theme. 37% of you were correct. Have an extra cookie. How's my day going? It's going well, thank you. I'm happier now that I'm saving this city. Uh, you ran out of time to vote. I'll let you off. It's fine. Uh, theme. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Edinburgh Row Houses. It's ones like this. I've got Edinburgh Row House theme. And then what would happen? Edinburgh. The houses would up. Up. Uh, update. Up. Grow. Up. Level. What is the word I'm looking for? They would do this. Upgrade. Thank you, brain. They would upgrade to the next level if they aren't already level 5. I think most of these are. And it would just change out for some random American-looking house. Although, no, it wouldn't. Because my overall city theme is UK. So it would upgrade to some random house that's in the British UK style. So, you know, not the end of the world. But it'd be like living somewhere that's got all of these houses. And then having somebody suddenly move in, knock it down, and stick you know, <laughs> one of these, like, in the middle. It just wouldn't go, would it? You know, up dog. No. <laughs> we got we got there in the end. Uh, okay, so we've got West and East Catling. East Catling didn't have a theme, did it? No. So that's fine. This is University. Sakura! With the £10. Thank you. You're generally the reason I got into City Skyline and created my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for everything. 
Uh, have and always will love your content. Get yourself a brew and make it Yorkshire tea. I will. Thank you very much. I've finished the one I've got, but that's very kind of you, Sakura. I'm glad. Glad I inspired you. And thank you for your support. Mm. Oh, yeah. I will use the XML file, uh, Richard, but I've got to find out what each theme is first in each district because when you import the theme into district styles, it doesn't then apply them to the districts. West Catlin, East Catlin, Bampton Heights. Let's just get this done. Feltham, yeah. East Charlton, didn't have one. No. I should have put all the names down and just put they haven't got one next to it. Upper T Hampton Hub hasn't got one. I think that's it. I think we're done. There's no other ones here, is there? I think we're done. That's good. What's this one up here? Oh, that's Bampton Heights. Cool. Okay. Yeah, excellent. We've got the names. Right, so. What I need to do now is reload the game with district styles instead of building themes. So... Let me do uh, this. So don't go anywhere. The stream will not stop. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a be right back on the screen. There we go. Just so I can switch over. So I'm going to terminate City Skylines. Boink. Make sure I've saved my document that's got all my information in. Zoink. And then using... This, this is where the loading tool mod comes in handy. Unfortunately, I'm not set up to show you my desktop or anything excuse me <coughs> copying. matthew dalton ayer two pounds thank you it's donated you can get more tea bags for more videos very kind thank you very kind right so load order tool go into my mods i'm going to take out building themes i'm tick i'm tick and i'm going to put in district styles plus tick tick i'm then going to export that xml Export and save it. 45. And I'm going to call it test. Save. And then order. Reset order. File. Save. And then launch. That's how, that's how quick it is. That is how quick it is. So I'm going to launch City Skylines. Good, good, good. Let's answer some questions. Got any questions you want to ask me while we're just waiting for this to go through? My favourite was when his son said, how will he feed the family? Do you know what? He, oh, he's such a flipping tyke, I tell you. that The fact that the video was so good and there was literally no planning, there was no prompting from me, there was no try and be funny, say some funny things. It, it just happened as it happened. Just makes me laugh even more. When I watched that edit back, when it came back from my editor, I was just, oh, I was crying with laughter. Because it was funny as it went through and we were doing it together. But the whole thing in the video, it was like, man alive, that was good. Matthew Dalton, I, yes, I'm playing FIFA 23. I'm playing as Spurs. Um, and I'm doing like a a season. I, I normally do that. Dive in, do a season. Then I'll go back and try some other stuff. Maya, what happened? Building themes uh, decided to suddenly break for me because it's not been updated for a long time. All of my districts lost their themes. We are going to be moving over to District Styles Plus. So that's what we're doing. Uh, you can bring the merch screen in the wait time. Yeah, if I had that on here, I could probably do that. Bifferplaysmerch.com. I should like add that sort of stuff on. I haven't got it in my list, have I? What a bad streamer. We'll, we'll do that one next time. I could I could bring up like the website and uh, I probably will. Vedrana at some point play with the sun again. What do you mean boo spurs? Ban, ban that person. No, I'm only joking. You will build something or we're just chatting. Well, yeah, I'm waiting for City Skylines to load again. So hang on a, sec, a, a, a check. Carl Anderson says, would you shout me out live? Oh, that's just cheeky, that is. That is just cheeky. Uh, I have an editor. Yes, I do have an editor. Right, we're in City Skylines. Let me just concentrate a second. Tottingham hot bags. <laughs> Let me just check. Right, okay. So, uh, oh, I can show you the game, can't I? Uh, turn that off. Okay, mods. So there's a, a, a thing that you need to follow here. District Styles Plus, Alpha, Work in Progress, Options. You need to do this. Um, so... 
Raven Gaming, two pounds. Amazing stream, maybe add in F1 or go kart tracks. Maybe, we shall see, we shall see. Am I from Tottenham? No, I'm not. Uh, EJK, I'm going to give you a time out for that. No, I'm only joking, it's fine. You are allowed to support other teams. Right, let me concentrate on what I'm doing now. I'm going to clear my throat again. I'm going to open up the how to do the district style thing. Um, this is why you blooming need so many monitors. OBS and stuff on one. Cities on another. Chat and stream software on another. Simple guide how to import building themes configuration. Open mod options from main menu. Check. Fill path to building themes XML usually located in that directory. Okay, let's go and find that. Um, so that is going to be, put that over there actually, bom, 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 bom. Steam apps, Steam home directory, Steam apps, so city skyline, oh Steam home directory, oh okay, no hang on, that's going to be on the other drive, mm -hmm. this one here, Steam library, Steam apps, Common City Skylines building themes. Oh, it's in the City Skylines folder. Okay. Building themes. Nope. Cities data. Oh, I'll be in this one. Mm, what am I actually looking for? City Sky. Oh, building themes XML. Ah, okay. That one there. Yep. Okay. So that is in this folder here. So I'm going to copy that into there. Yep. So do I need to actually put in slash building themes.xml on the end? I do. Okay, so let's grab that. I'll be back to the chat momentarily. So if I do that. Whoa, hang on. Click in the right window as I'm going to mess stuff up. There we go. And now click import themes. Then click the import button and wait. I'm waiting. Let's see what happens. I'm the David Attenborough of City Skylines, really? <laughs> Why would you say that? <clears throat> I'm probably croaking like him. Okay, it's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. Welcome to Tea Town Designer. De oh, Deck Pikachu. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you for joining the channel. Import themes. This is going to take a while. It's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. And then when it's done, you will be shown a simple info panel with imported styles. So it should pop up a little window here saying import was successful with the list. And then when that's done, we can sort of move on. Move on from there. Will you have a video on updated mods for PMP? Yeah, I do. It's on my channel already. It was like four or five videos back, something along the lines of how to use the latest mods, top 2022 plazas and promenade. You'll, you'll be able to find it. Just look through my videos. Uh, Raymond Powell. I lost my vibe for this game, so watching you play makes me feel better. I am now known why my kid watches people Minecraft. Ah, I also, I get what you mean. Yes. Thank you very much, Raymond Powell, for the five pounds. So kind. Yeah, watching other people play. It, it's fun, isn't it? Please don't crash while you're importing. It said wait a while. <clears throat> My saves keep erroring. I mean, the biggest thing I can say, if you're having problems with your saves, particularly after... Um, thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, particularly after Plaza and Promenades or any major game update, is get the compatibility report mod read how to install that read how to use it read the report it gives you and follow its guidelines and it will tell you if you've got mods installed that don't work it will tell you if you've got mods installed that have been replaced with other mods which there was a lot of temporary fix versions of mods you know don't just load up your game and expect it to work and it won't and you need to put aside maybe an hour or two to go through that and then it's worth it archangel with 100 sec again i don't know what that is let me know. I'll be interested to see. Needs more trams. It probably does. Thank you very much for your support. That is very kind. Just going to mute myself. Uno momento. So 
Swedish crowns. Oh, excellent. Got people from all over the show here. Well, Swedish krona. Swedish money. There, I think I'll get what it is now. Thank you very much. Very, very kind. Very, very, very kind. Very good. So where are you all from? Uh, so obviously I'm from uh, England. Might have guessed. Which which area of the world are you from? I am going to move that out of the way while you tell me. I'm going to move. I'm worried how long this is going to take. We're going to sit here looking at this. It's not crashed because I'm hovering over my city skyline thing in my taskbar. Oh my goodness me! You're from everywhere. Uh, what have we got? Te Texas, Canada, Latvia, Pakistan, UK, France, Romania, Netherlands, Australia, Poland, England, Preston, USA, Scotland, Iran, South Africa, Germany, South Africa, Norway, Sheffield, UK, Michigan, USA, Aussie. How can I get the DLC? Also, Steam Workshop. Also, Australia, Romania, England, UK, Beds. Oh, I've lost the place now. The thing jumped. <laughs> Live in England from Canada. Hey, Biffa from Australia. Germany. When Biffa will meet King Charles III after we be Sir Biffa. Germany, Australia, Liverpool. Oh, I missed it all. Minnesota, the moon. Well, Simon, I'm not entirely sure I believe you. Turkey. Oklahoma, Brazil, Portugal, Norway, Leicester, Spain, South Africa, Switzerland. Biffa the rapper on the stage. Panama. All the world is watching. Oh, my goodness me. That is so kind, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Mercury, Serbia, Bristol, Antarctica. Really, Martin? Poland, Krakow, Slovakia. Are you just putting names in there to make me say them? Oh, import was successful. Cornwall, Denmark, New Zealand. X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. I thought I recognised you. Right. We have all of these themes imported. That is Cheltenham, High Biffa, Anglesey. Pakistan, you mentioned Pakistan a few times, you did. Okay, I'm going to click OK, because I'm assuming that's what you do. Read the instructions. Don't click OK. <laughs> do a dance. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. Simple info panel. Yeah, we've got that. Manchester, India. <laughs> Still going. Singapore. I'm just an NPC. Oh, you come from... Hang on a minute. I'm going to try this one. Clang fair, pilly willy, gokka, gishin, chomon, dong, plang, silagula, gokka, gok. Oh, I can say it perfectly. Florida, India, Manchester. They're British. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Thank you for that. Brazil, Neptune. I keep looking. Right. So, yeah, we've got that. You're amazed, aren't you, at my Welsh pronunciation. So now, if you go into out of this. Yeah. And out of it we can ignore this don't worry about that that happens every time can you go clear go thank you so now if we go into here and go into styles get rid of this we should have all of those styles in here uk terrace so now it's using the built-in style system that is normally in the game hong kong melbourne australia longbridge i nailed it thanks jade <laughs> Um, UK Terrace Victoria yeah it's all here and if it's one of these sort of themes you can subscribe to all but now you get the option I think if I click on this so it will show me yeah if there's ones missing I'm not going to mess with the what's missing thing we're just going to go with the flow on that so that is now all of them which is absolutely flipping fantastic so is that it uh, just remember that vanilla assets which are used in style will always be marked as missing. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, this is useful. Right, okay, I think that is it. So let's just put that out of the way there. Am I going to build something today? I'm sure we will. Let me fix my city first. So load game. So now you're going to see how many saves I end up taking. So that's the auto save we had during the actual thing. So new city, quick save, quick save, quick save, new city, new city, new city. I do loads of quick saves. Pre-6, mid-5, we're looking for UK. And, oh, actually, before we do that, I want to make sure mod, we don't have 81 tile mod. No, we don't. That's good. Okay. So load game. Let's go back. So it's pre-42 is the UK one I'm looking for. 
Uh, I thought I saw UK there at the corner of my eye. It'll be coming up in a second. New city, new city, new test. City fixes. UK pre-42. So we're going to load this. And hopefully, all will go well. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, love the live. We've been done already with an edited video. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you know, could have done this and made it into a video, but I thought, let's enjoy the experience. This has made it much more fun for me to do it like this than to just make a video out of it. Uh, Feroz Khan with 10 QAR. I don't know what that is either. Big fan, mate. Love from Qatar. Uh, do you know what? Before I saw the Qatar, I was going to say, is it Qatari? I want to say Rand, but I don't know whether that's right or not. Please inform me so I know. Uh, let's see. But thank you very much, fellas. Thank you for watching. Thanks for the support. Qatari Ryle. Oh, okay. Ryle. Rail. Looks like I'm possibly pronouncing it somewhere within the realms of possibility <laughs> mm. all of this over here i think this is it's never a problem i think this is to do when you use the load order tool and you have a lot of stuff that's marked as not needed so the map is loading going oh you should have all of this stuff but i don't need it in the save so the fact that all of that's missing is no problem uh, this over here is the interesting bit which actually probably won't update now because it gets to this sort of point and it like freezes and then you think it's not going to save and it does. I, I've got 32 gig of RAM. The rest of it is my system page file. I've got another 32 to put in, but for some reason my PC never works with 64. It's a whole thing. If you're on my Discord, discord.gg slash join Biffer, you'll know I've had tons of help trying to get both working together from people far more knowledgeable than me, and I couldn't. 32 is fine. Uh, yeah, these pictures here, the loading screen mod, this is a great addition to this mod, adding all these new things. I'm going to up my fan a bit. I'm getting a bit warm. Maybe you could reinstall everything. I don't really need to. Try 128 gig. Do you know what? If ever they made a City Skylines 2, which, let's be honest, if they did, the graphics are going to just be out of this world, aren't they? Because we've all moved on from 2015. I probably would need to upgrade to a latest AMD... Let's say the game's out in a few years' time. An AMD 8900 XD 3D with 128 gig of RAM. NVMEs sticking out of my ear holes. The works. But yeah, 32 is fine. I, it's it works. Oh, it's loading. I hear the children in the background. You always hear the little park. Oh, ooh. right. No errors. Let's see. Oh, and a forty ninety. It'll be it'll be fifty ninety by then. Okay, what's going on? Okay, right. We've got all the areas that we want. So I'll show you what happened. Oh, I can't show you. We haven't got building themes, have we? But if I do this now, it's styles instead. So up here. We'll have a style button. Let's show you this first. I think that's the no, that's transfer manager. See, where's the style button? Oh, that's the one. DS. I couldn't see it. So it's district editor. So now you've got all the themes. Yeah. Look at that. Flobby, you member for eight months. Hello, Biffa. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining the channel and supporting. Very kind of you. Thank you. So all the themes are in here. So let's just pick the British UK style. Change that to included. And here are all the items. Fan dabby dozy. So I'm not going to unpause the game. So you can see the... Whoa. First time you zoom in. Look, you can see the problem in here. What's happened. Oh, excuse me. Hiccups. So they should be all these type of buildings. But... At one point, they've upgraded. We Remember every time we started loading the game after the plazas and promenades DLC? Oh, I love this little park. In the shape of a T, sort of. Um, yeah, everything randomly upgraded. And every time we load the game, it would randomly upgrade. What I didn't realise in the background was building themes was broken and all these houses were upgrading and changing. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a bit of a bummer. 
I'm going to pop my chat out again because chat seems to have needs to reset itself. There we go. Um, yeah, but what we can do now is go through here and styles, and now we'll get a list of the styles. So the, the mod works slightly differently, but we can just now reapply our styles. It's going to mean some fixing in this little area here, which we will get to. But we know this one is... Oh, they're not in night alphabetical order. <laughs> they're like in a weird order. All right, we won't complain. So that's going to be Arjan Medieval. So we're going to go through and just do this. I'm going to put my chat back over here. Hey, Ottawa. Oh, someone's like suddenly come in with the where they're from. You're playing City Skylines in the background, drinking tea and all sorts of things. Excellent. Another person from Ottawa. How many people from Ottawa? Maybe you know each other. Mr. Needs is here. Really? Are you sure? Ah, oh, hello. You are here. Welcome. Have you selected those houses as historical buildings because they won't change? Yeah, the district should have been set to historical. So I'm going to come out of that district and have another look. So you've literally got to scroll through to see and it's still selected. Okay, that's good. So what I'm going to do is as I do them, I'm going to add another column insert a column before and as I do them I'm going to style yeah excellent I'm going to put a yes so British UK style is my default style oh there's a save button did I not do that before yeah I'm pretty sure I did so we're going to put yes uh, orderly yes orders gates so we'll just go through these Such relaxing stream. Oh, good. I'm, I'm pleased. Aldersgate Abbey, UK terraced house style. And like we said, not in alphabetical order. So, oh, well, sort of. I'm assuming that is the only one that's called that. UK terraced modern. Yeah, I think we're fine. So, UK terraced house, Aldersgate Abbey. Yep. Croydon Gardens over here. My 34-year-old husband wants City Skylines DLCs for his birthday. But if somebody, if you know somebody that wants a gift and you're able to gift them, gift them some DLCs. They are great fun. Um, does 81 tiles not work? No, the thing with 81 tiles is a whole other thing altogether. I just don't need it at the moment. So rather than try and sort out that problem, I thought we'd leave it. Uh... Boys 2000, Bose 2000 with 100 euros. Wow. Flibbity gibbet. Biffers build strong and stable. Thank you so much for your support. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for your support. That surprised me. That has. That's very, very kind. I do appreciate that. Lots of people going wow in the chat as well. Excellent. 81 tiles does work on plazas and promenades. Get the new testing version. God, that has surprised me. That has. Thank you so much for your support. I do really appreciate that. There's a lot of PG tips. It would be for drunk PG tips. It'd have to be a lot of Yorkshire tea instead. Uh, Croydon is UK semi detached housing. Oh, you guys have been fantastic. I was thinking. This sort of day, a stream is like going to be hardly anybody around. I think that's that one. UK semi dash detached housing. Yeah. But there's like, I don't know how many of you are here. 1,140. I'm like, I couldn't even believe that that many people would be around to watch, watch me stream. So thank you. You know, it's slightly different stream rather than a, uh, you know, actual building stream at the moment. We'll get there. Building theme residential low U, this one. So let's. Oh, okay. Building theme residential low U. There isn't one called building theme residential low U. Is there one called residential low U? Oh, darn it. What's happened? We haven't got that one. Hmm. Mm, mm. 
Am I missing something? Hey, Model Railway Randomness by Stess. Hey to you. Building theme, residential low U. Why did it not get that one? If you see it, shout out. It's there. Night, Danny, with the five pounds. Keep up the great work, Biffa. The effort and enthusiasm you put in is amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you for the support, Knight. And I'm glad you enjoy my stuff. Building themes, residential, low U. For some reason, that one isn't here. Darn it. Why? Why, why, why? Why would that be different? I'm sort of thinking that that was a... <clears throat> is its own separate theme that for some reason isn't in the building's theme EXE. Oh, man. Um, I'm looking in my folder, and I can't see anything. All right, okay. I don't know what that one is, but what I can do... So that's St. Giles West and East, isn't it? And we know that all the buildings in here have been placed by hand. So I can actually force these all to be historical, and they won't change. So if I do that, that's if they're not historical anyway. Could actually I place them with Rico. So they probably are. Let's check St. Giles East. Yeah, look, they're all historical anyway. So I'm going to put no on my list for that one. And then I'll look into it. But that is not a huge problem. <laughs> Biff of a prime minister. No, it's all right, thanks. <laughs> How long am I planning to stream for? I'm just going to carry on until we I've, I've had enough, really. Um, we'll see. T. Hampton Rise, UK detached housing. What's the time? Three o'clock. Oh, I don't know. Might do another hour. UK terraced. UK high street. UK semi. UK terraced. UK terraced. UK detached housing. UK detached housing. Yep, that's the one. Save. So that's T Hampton Rise. We'll add a yes on the old list. St. Giles Commercial is just UK. Listen to before do work. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> I won't say anything. Oh, UK. There we go. That was easy, that one. St. Giles Commercial. Yep. Do that one there. Head 7K with 100. Oh, now let me guess. Czechoslovakian... Czechoslovakian crons. Thanks for the fun, Biffa. Started enjoying City Skylines again. Thanks to your videos. Keep doing the awesome job. Thank you very much. You are very, very kind. And thank you for your support. And let me know what a CZK is. Czech. Czech is just one country. Yes, of course, yes. Not Czechoslovakia. Czech. Czech. Karuna. Ah, uh, Mr. Needs. Crowns. What happened to Blighty? It broke. Just check. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Begging your pardon. Oh, we've done this one, haven't we? It's just UK. Yeah, that's done. Check crowns. Oh, I wasn't far off, was I? Thornaby left. So that's this one here. Is Victorian Terrace. Mm, I'm going from the top this time. So it's just Victorian Terrace. Victorian Semi. Victorian Terrace. Yep. Mushroom Tea District, please. Well, we'll see. And then Thornaby, UK Terrace Dark. So that was this Thornaby. I think that's someone at my doorbell. Let's just have a quick look. Somebody putting a parcel through the door. <laughs> guy who looks like the guy off a of Bake Off. Okay. Oh, well. It's the school holidays. We're all here. Yeah, well, you know. That's true. That's true. Uh, UK Terrace Dark, this one. Uh, okay, Terrace Dark, there we go, save, excellent, yes, oh, I'm glad this is, I'm glad this import, whoever the mod maker, District Styles Plus mod maker is, thank you so, so much, developer, Meta22, thank you so much for adding in this import feature, 
it's like, yeah, you've saved this city and made a lot of people very, very happy. I've got another email. That'll be the one telling me my parcel's been delivered. Yes. I bought a book. Comic book for me, Kitty Winkies. Oh, no. Failing at normal. Get your assignment done. Do a live reaction of a city planner plays latest video. No. Reaction videos. Not my style. Uh, Kensal Industrial Estate. Brutu we'll be looking for British Industrial. British. Br no, it's Br Br British. There it is. British Industrial. Done. Yep, we've got a couple left. Feltham. So now we're going across the other side of the city. Uh, Feltham. This is the one that didn't really matter, but it was done anyway. Here's another sip of tea. My tea is nearly done. This is going to be the last sip of my tea. I'm going to do an auto save as well. We'll come back to Feltham because I've done so much stuff here. There we go. British. British. That would be missing the T. This is Brit. Shh. Because there's no I. Oh, Flobby, you do. You get these little things you can put in your chat. Use them. Call the Tea Express. Could I, like, deliver room yourself a cup of tea? Uh, Feltham. British. UK style. Mind the doors, please. I thought I sounded very... Very British then. If I enunciate clearly, I sound more British than how I normally would. <clears throat> uh, oh, chose the name Biffa. Did No, I don't work at the bin company. It was like a funny nickname some friends of ours had for each other a long time ago, before I started my channel. When I'm setting up my account, I was like, oh, that sounds funny. I'll do that. Chris Lafferty, $4.99. Love your video videos. Always relaxing to watch. Keep it up. Chris, you're a scholar. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. British UK style. Let's have a look. Is it in here? British UK. Have I missed it? Let's try that again. British UK style. Right at the top. We'll get that one in there. That's Feltham. Yep. That's done. And West Kettling. West Kettling. What, what song did that are? Oh, Kettering. Kettering FC. That's the song that just came into my head then. British UK style, which is the main style anyway, so you don't really need to do that. K to the E to the T to the T to the E to the R to the ING. T to the O to the WN. Get her in town. FC. Bampton Heights was the other one. I think that is also... Oh, no. Edinburgh Row Houses. <laughs> Mr. Lee says, false. Biffer is, in fact, my bin man. I make sure to have a cup of Yorkshire tea ready every Friday morning. Don't forget the uh, the pastries this time, Mr. Needs. We were a bit lacking last week. Edinburgh Row Houses. Edinburgh Row Houses. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. What? Ooh. Am I missing this one? European, European. Modder pack, modder pack. Did I miss Edinburgh Row Houses? British, New Victoria, UK, 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 Victoria, UK, British. Oh, another one that hasn't appeared. Okay, odd. Um, 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 um. Hmm. Am I missing it? Am I missing it? I'm going to scroll through slowly again. If I'm missing it, let me know because I don't know what I'm doing here. Edinburgh Row Houses we're looking for. European, European. Modder Pack, Modder Pack, British UK style, UK, West Hoke, New Style, Modern, European. Didn't see it. Yeah, I don't think I saw it either. I'm going to have one last scroll through. No. No, okay. Uh, that might not be the end of the world. Let's have a quick look in here. I'm assuming if it's not in the other list, it's not in here. UK. A way to organise this would be great, but... I think it's just literally the order they've been imported in. So I can't complain. I didn't see it there either. Um, let's just do all and put in here... Add in... No. <laughs> Edinburgh T 
townhouse. What are these row houses then? I mean, they're obviously in here. Oh, first time you zoom in always does that. Does it loads things? These ones here. So what houses are these? Let's use the picker picker mod. What? Okay, there we go. So it's this one here. Edmund Row House. It's literally E R H. So if we do E R H, yeah. So it's all of these, isn't it? So I could do a new style and just do that one myself. I think I will do. Let's grab that name, paste it into there, create, and I'm going to include all of these. Yeah, okay. Nothing weird in there, is there? No. So I have that one, and I'm pretty sure that's all that's in here. Whoa, wonky. And could it all goes up here. They're all the same. Yeah, okay. So we'll do that then. Bampton Heights. And that's probably right down the end. Yeah. And we'll save that one. And I think that should be okay. So that's the... I'm going to put a yes with a question mark on that one because I made that one myself. So the one that was missing was the building themes residential low U whatever for St. Giles West and East. So we could make this theme. Oh no, it didn't matter, did it? Because they're all placed by hand. What a day to be alive! Isu Miwa. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, St. Giles East and West is only this little bit here and that's fine anyway. Yeah. I think we're done. I think we've rescued Blighty on the Wold. So I'm going to do a save. Uh, this is pre-42 saved. No, let's call it It Lives. There we go. Uh, save that one. There we go. Give that a second. Hooray, indeed. Hooray. Oh, I need to stand up and stretch my legs. What I'm going to do is... I am going to do... Uh, let's see. Render it. No, this one here. Time of day is going to go through at four times speed. And then we're going to do that. Just while I stretch my legs. Huzzah! Indeed, Vincent. Huzzah! I'm going to stand up. And, oh, my life. If, if you've been sitting down this whole time... It's an hour and 12 minutes. Just stand up and do some stretching because your your body will thank you. Oh, I'm doing some stretching. Oh, sitting down all day. It's important for your back and your knees. Make a city with desperately bad traffic, like 5%, and then give it to the community to fix. Yeah, do you know what? That sounds like a fantastic idea. It also sounds like a huge amount of work. <laughs> Having to actually make the city that bad and then having to look at all the other people's cities that they've made. I don't know if it was vanilla, but I don't know. You'd probably, yeah. It sounds interesting, but oh, there's trees in the thing. That's something that needs to be fixed is all the trees in the thing because I've loaded the game now with the trees in the thing turned on. Uh, US, US inspired builder's gone, yeah. Let me just pour myself a glass of water now that my tea's gone i'm gonna save that list there and do that oh two new members thank you very much for uh for joining and thank you very much for the very kind donations and what have i got likes 510 likes as well over a thousand concurrent viewers why don't we do some stuff hmm Ah, uh, right. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Staff chat on the Discord. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Just checking there was no, no issues or problems. Doesn't seem like it. Everybody's happy. Good. Right. Okay. Let's do some stuff. Let's do some stuff. Can you come out of this view and stop doing that view, please? Let's do that paused. That is like very bright first thing in the morning. Let's just get past lunchtime and just add a little bit of something on there. There we go. Half of you were too captivated by the stream to remember hitting like. Do you know what? If you could hit like, that would be very, very handy. So what we've got to do now is fix this. Now... What I hoped that you'd be able to do in an area like this 
is force a downgrade and an upgrade and get them to change their houses to what it should be. Like, this person here has upgraded... Oh, they might have been in the wrong house already. But I don't think you can do that. But I'm going to try it and see what happens. Let's just get this in the middle of the screen here. So how would I do this? If I set the maximum level at, say, 3. Let's just randomly pick some houses. Actually, they're all level 1, these things, aren't they? So some of these are going to be, like other houses that are huge levels that shouldn't even be anywhere yeah so if for this area oh jacqueline Britt, welcome to t-town designer thank you very much for supporting the channel and joining and all the rest of it you're very kind thank you so if i set the maximum level for the whole place as one i could i could really mess this up now but we'll see and then force a downgrade. So that forces all buildings in this district with levels above the specified maximum to downgrade to that maximum. Is it going to change all the buildings that are wrong to the right sort and be level one? What does clear building settings do? Clears all individual building level settings in this district. Hmm. I'm going to do that. I've done it now. I've clicked it. Oh, buildings are changing. Yes. It's done what I thought it would do. <gasps> Has it done it? It's just like instantly got rid of all the wrong... Oh, like 90% of them. You can see from like the colours of the roofs. It's got rid of 90% of the wrong buildings. Oh, man. Oh, is this in the same area as well? I don't want that to be sort of messing it up. It is, but we seem to be okay. Oh, that is great. Let's just... What's this one here? Is there literally a park in here? Or is that a... What is that zone there? Oh, it's a what's-it zone. Okay. Flipping heck. Let's just do that again. I saw one here disappear. Because if I upgrade these, I'm pretty sure I can, I can test this. So if we hold my picker mod, click on that. Okay, this is the orderly one. They're all called Arjan, aren't they? So if we go Arjan, pretty sure these are all level one. You all ain't right with $3.99. Thank you very much. Coding actually works. Yeah, thank you for your support. Uh, so that says level one. Yes, level one. Yes, level one. Level one. Level one. Uh, level one. Yeah, okay. So they are all level one. Um... One and all. Yeah, do you know what? I know. I thought there were some other things here. And then these are the hospital, fire station, church, chapel, and the gates, and the other things here. Is this a level one as well? Level one. Yes, yeah, so all the houses are level one. Okay. Slavaniki on. Yeah, I don't know what that's going to do. So this section along the top here all looks okay. Because these have all been manually placed. They should all be historical. They are. These are not historical yet, but they will be. So we just need to go through each of these squares and, like, delete any of these random houses like this. And any that then grow in after that. What's going on? Oh, I think we've got an autosave going on. Well, I better have a sip of... Darn it, I'm out of tea. I have to make do with water. Um, so any that then grow in after this should be this new one um although i did go through at one point and sort of move them along to sort of fit more in and that sort of thing so we might yeah like that there for instance shouldn't yeah see how why did one grow there when i've got this to me that just seems a little bit odd so i don't know how is it enough already was level one Force upgrade, then downgrade. Yes, that was the other thing I was going to do, and I completely forgot. Let's do that. So I'm going to force upgrade, and what's going to happen is, is all these houses are going to change to something else. Or would they? No, they wouldn't, because the theme should override that. Let's see. Force upgrade. Oh, he upgraded. I'm going to do it again. Give it a second. Oh, no, I've got to force upgrade to a bigger level, haven't I? So if I do level two, force upgrade... Yep, some over here. You can see they're the other sorts of houses. They're like, okay. 
Everybody's going ping, ping, ping. This one here did it, and he's an Arjan house, but I've forced him up to a level two, but he's still the same type of house. So that technically shouldn't be possible. Upgrade underway. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Look, he's cheating. He's now turning into a different house. Let's watch him. He is, isn't he? He is. Look. It's gonna, the scaffolding's going to come down. The local council's going to go, hang on a minute. That is not the style of house that you're allowed to build in this pseudo-medieval area. Good gravy. Okay. So now that that's done, now it's fine. Everyone's going to change their house. Then I'm going to just downgrade it all again and they'll change back. It shouldn't be a problem. We shall see... So now, maximum level back to one. Force downgrade. And they're all changing. Look, bing. You can see them changing. See, what's this one here? He's a two. Let's see, why didn't he go down to a one? Hmm. I just cheese local. He, uh, he just cheese local zoning. He did. Force downgrade. I'm going to do it again. Oh, there we go. Did I press the wrong button before? And then we will force historical once. I can't force historical yet because we're still getting ones like this in. Look, he's still upgrading. Shouldn't be upgrading. Oh, hang on. He's changed, does he? No, th this is the thing here. Residential level. Have we done it? I'm pretty sure I can still... Oh, wrong keys. Yeah, see, he's still ones in here. I think we might just hello from Las Vegas hello hello can you go and move all the houses more closer yeah I do that's another thing to do so I think what we're going to have to do here is just like I was going to do go through and remove these and any that grow in move it building select all reset nah that won't do it because Okay, I'll give you an example. Move it. Select that one. I've got Control R to reset. And it will just reset that one asset. Like if I do it here. It resets it as that asset. So I need to remove these. Then if any grow in from now on, they will be the new, the Arjan style. That's what should happen. Because now this, put district styles working. So it's whack-a-mole with these. This shouldn't take a minute. Whack a mole, whack a mole, whack a mole. So is Biffa, speaking of myself in a third person, going to miss whacking any moles? That is the question. I think if I did a vote on that, it would be like 100% yes. Because I would vote yes. <laughs> I don't think I'd get them all. What happened to the build? What happened to the build was building themes, the mod that's broken has been broken for a long time and wasn't broken for me finally broke hence the fixing that has been going on and we're sort of we're well over halfway towards fixing this problem it's like why are you on top of there oh that is how it looks i think that is two no that is the oh it's because of the tree there we go yeah we might have to do something about the trees we'll we'll come back to that i'm just worried about the building thing at the moment yeah so you shouldn't be there can you use a drop and move it to on mass select all the wrong ones and delete no nah, because they're all different all different styles the ones that i'm deleting so it's probably literally going to take less than five minutes to just do what i'm doing the little trick with the upgrade downgrade worked that was okay uh, and once we've got rid of them all then i will set everything else to historical Yeah, the upgrade downgrade got rid of about, I'd say, 90%. Uh, there we go. So I feel like I'm the local council planner who's now finally come around this village to have a look around. And they're going, nope, you didn't follow the plans, you didn't follow the plans, you didn't follow the plans. <laughs> and like, deleting all their houses. Nope. 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 Laura... Brooks, welcome to T-Town Designer. Thank you very much for supporting the channel and joining becoming a member. Very kind of you. And Alex Stefanov, 
Love being inspired by your builds here in Sweet Texas. Spelt with a T. Blight on the Wolds Centennial is on 30 the 1st, 2122. What are they building to celebrate? Oh my goodness me. Uh, no idea. Maybe, maybe, well, maybe we'll think of something. I tend to totally ignore the date down here, to be honest, because it's like already 2110 and there's no flying cars and hoverboards. You know, it's the, the timing. <laughs> doesn't sort of seem to run. What the heck? Oh, I know what this is. This is like a... There we go. It's like a super duper big building that you meant to place manually. Uh, Esu Miwa, welcome to T-Town Designer. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, Prue. Oh, sorry. Law Prue. There we go. I was trying to pronounce other letters that seem to be in the name there. Now, this guy is just building in here. If he's building in with the wrong style of house, I am not going to be happy because we've set the... St and, and your neighbour. Let's speed the game up. So they're building in with the correct style of house. Yes. So we know it's working. If they'd then built in with the wrong style of house, I would have flipped my PC out the window and don't know what I would have done after that. Gone and had a crump it and then come back and try to fix it again. Okay, let's let's power through this. Let's power through it. We're getting there. Any questions you'd like to ask me while we're doing this? Because I can sort of do this with one eye and one hand and uh, answer questions with the other. Uh, do you think you'll start getting more uploads of this save? Well, if I gave you one upload of one of my saves, that would be more, wouldn't it? Because I never upload my saves. I tend to not upload my saves. I know some creators do. I just always have this sort of feeling that these are these are my cities and I'd like to keep them to myself. That's that's it, really. That's the only reason. Um, so I'm sorry about that. It's just how I've always done it. I could get rid of all of these trees by doing a complete selection of all the houses in this area and doing like a move it, shift up and down, and that would just get rid of... We've come along here. Get rid of all the trees, wouldn't it? Um, change tree hiding to hide deleting. Yeah. Ishan Sharma with 40... I don't know what that symbol is. Live seen by Viffa, really. Long time viewer. Thank you, Ishan. And let me know what that symbol is. I'm, I'm interested. I'm learning about all these different currencies. Is Plaza's DLC worth the money? Why, like with any of the DLCs, if it's something you enjoy, you know, whatever the theme is of the DLC, then yeah, it's worth the money. If it's something you're not really going to use, then it's not. And I've enjoyed using it. We've got, as you can see, uh, one of the bus roads. This is all um, been pedestrianised, isn't it? This whole thing. So I've been I've been enjoying it. Do I ship merch worldwide? I do. Well, I don't. My my store does. Uh, that is run by a company for me, but they do. Yep, yeah. All the prices are on the store, so you can go and check that out. Uh, what's the parking lot mod I'm using? It is parking lot roads, and then I've got like a load of sort of individual parking lots of various sizes that I sort of use from time to time. I'm going to just do that up to here. And then we're sort of doing this section here, aren't we? And I'm going to do a quick save there. Hi, Nick from the Netherlands. Long time fan. Hello. Uh, I bet Paradox gives Biffa any and all DLC he wants for free. If I'm reviewing it or getting it ahead of time, they do give it to creators. That's very good. Then they want to tell me what the symbol was for that last one that I asked. I missed it. Uh, hello from Australia. Booted Tech. Quick sip of tea. Hello from Plymouth. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, any other questions you have? Uh, feel free. Now's the time. I'm live. I'm here. Live and direct from my office. What mod do you use to better place fences? Uh, prop. Well, it's not prop line tool anymore, is it? It is just... Um, prop anarchy, isn't it? Which includes... All of these. Deckle prop fix, prop line tools, and prop anarchy by the temp fix by Algonon. Have a look at that. That'll be the one you want. First time live stream, I've my question for you. Load order mod. Do you set it up before we start a new build? Because I have 20,000 assets. Um, 
you can set it up before you do a new build and then work from that, which like I did with my new city that we're doing. Um, or you can sort of, I missed one. You can sort of add it in after the fact, which is what I did with Blighty and Mississippi T. It, it does take some manual setting up then to go through and tick which assets you need in the XML for each city. But seriously, believe me, once you've got it done, anything after that is, is child's play. It's a very cool mod. I would use it. Am my live streams regular or going to be just one thing? I'd like to do more. I'd like to do this sort of thing when I've got a lot of work that needs to be done. Get a live stream and have a chat. Oh, I probably deleted. There we go. So I'm sure you'll see some more. Uh, Drake Gamer 85 with one pound. Thank you very much for your support. Very kind. Uh, this is one of those weird buildings again. There we go. Hiding an actual normal house underneath there. What do I like most about City Skylines? Oh. Uh, that changes over time. It's been like the challenge and... You know, the challenge of the game I do enjoy a lot. But I also have enjoyed, you know, the traffic fixing. I go through a phase where that's not like my favourite thing ever. At the minute, I'm really enjoying doing a lot of detailing. But there's yeah, so much in the game. Even after all this time, I can I completely lost where I am. Oh, okay. Even after all this time, I can still find things that I've not really spent a lot of time on before and enjoy them. I've been up here. How much RAM is your computer? I've got 32 gig. I mentioned probably before you came, uh, 64 is... Oh, whoops. Hang on, where's the end of that one? There's, I do have 64 and can't get it working, but 32 is fine. And I've got a lot of page file stuff on the on the old computer. So I missed two of them. Yeah, I'm going to go back afterwards. I'm going to have another look around. But because I'm looking at the questions, I might miss some now. Um... Are you one of uh, you are one of my two favourite gaming YouTubers on here? Thank you, Drake. Do you have? How do I have my cup of tea? Just milk. Yeah, I had milk, one sugar, and tea bag in first. Not like my mum, who puts milk in first. Oh man, can't believe I'm admitting that on live YouTube. <sighs> Sorry, mum, for publicly shaming you. <laughs> oh. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I can't drink tea that way. Let's go along here. There's one I missed. I feel like there's another one. Will I ever revive your Moon City build? No, that one's done. 64 gig, 4 times 16. Yes, it is. It's four, four 16s. And they're all exactly the same, but they weren't all bought at the same time, so they're not all necessarily from the same batch. Stream recap. Yes, the whole video is just go live when I'm finished. What CPU do I have? 3900X? Do you know what? I think... I think we've got everything. I mean, there's bound to be the odd one or two in here, but now I've managed to... Boink! Odd one, odd two. Now I've managed to overall solve the issue. I'm pleased with that. Um... Glad you got here, I learn. Hi everyone, first time attending Biffa Streams, been following for a while. Love your builds. Thank you, ER. That's very kind. There's another one here. There's another one here. I hope you're not growing in. I'm not, like, the camera's not on us. Quick, grow in. Right, I'm going to test. You're growing in. Let's see what happens. Miss my man the edge of the lake. Go left. It's like the delay between the chat <laughs> and me. It's like, go left. What, go left now or go left back then? You know, it's like... I will try. Yeah, okay. You you look like you know what you're doing. Missed these blocks the first time. Yeah. That one ran by the... Oh, I spotted one here as I zoomed out. Where is it? I saw a roof that didn't... There it is. And there's another one there. There's another one there. Oh, I don't think I've gone around this section, have I? I sort of went one way and then went back another way. And then he's hiding amongst the trees. Rashid Barger with $20. Thank you for giving me renewed love for this game, but one day we'll get to play it on the PC and watch the console. Thank you very much, Rashid. That is very kind. Glad I've helped you to enjoy City Skylines even more, and thank you for your support. Very kind. All of you. Oh, tons of support. Just being here is just great. You know, being here, leaving a like, asking a question. 
and just making the stream fun. Next time you boot, check your BIOS for anything. Yeah, I, to be honest, I've quad channel and aim, but yeah, I've like done all of this stuff. I've been people in my Discord to help me. Oh, it must have been a year or so ago last year to try and fix it, and it was just yeah, it wasn't going to happen. But I'm doing alright with 32. I'm not overly concerned. Do you know what? I'm going to leave that there. I think that is okay. If there's any others that I've missed, what are we at population-wise? 55. If there's any others that we've missed, I think we'll just sort of have to deal with it. That's looking good. Got one hour, 30 minutes to catch up on. Can I put street names on? Yeah, that's this one here, isn't it? Road names. Let's see. What have we got? Yeah, there we go. Mead Street. What a cool name. What else have we got down here? Central Parade. See, these all should be British sort of names. Grimshaw Parade. Seddon Streets. You've, Sven, you've asked me about the No Problem At All merchandise. Did I not answer that question? Uh, we haven't got any yet. Whether we end up with any, I don't know. Oh man, traffic. What is the traffic at? 71%. I know what it is. As they all get stuck trying to get out here. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, I bet I've got no despawning turned on as well. Oh no, I haven't. Oh, that's good then. Whew. Sometimes when I load this save, this will flick on and off. It's weird. Auto save tip of tea. Lame up at it. Hugo there. No problem at all. Jiggly pokey. Oh, there's loads of other things I'd like to add. Um, so, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, whoa! Flipping it. Did you see him there? On two wheels. Good grief. Am I interested in a face reveal? Uh, to be honest, Ishan, I'm not interested in seeing your face. No offense. <laughs> Uh, it's Jacob E with HK38. So is that going to be? I'm going to I'm going to guess it Hong Kong dollars. If I'm wrong, let me know. But uh, we shall see. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I want these people here to get out a bit quicker. A bypass for that right turn. I don't know what. Let's see where they're going. If we click the road. So most of them are going up here, turning around. There's quite a lot going down there. But we've got this here. We've got, like, this path. I thought I had a road coming off there, going in here. Hmm. I'm going to add a little slip road coming off of here, but it's all going to be weird because this is, like... Let's grab that road there. This is going to be weird because it is... Um these sort of British roads, which are a little bit... So if I went like that... Oh, that's okay. It's only done it on this side. And I'm not going to worry too much about the lame mathematics. These are all going to get a bit funny. Oh, no, they're not going to go through, are they? Because it's the way these roads work. So go through, no crossing. And then I've got to check. I bet some of these are being forced that then can't use it. Because of all of this. Yeah, you see, that's probably why I didn't add this in before. How about we delete that? Yeah, I know you've used it. You're just being clever, aren't you? I'm going to pick that road again. We're going to do it a little bit further down. We're going to have it come out here. So we've got this node, this node, this node. They can all change. And this one here. It's going to be like super steep. Oh, that's okay. We'll have that there. There we go. And we've got... Where's me move it? So we've got this node, this node. So they've got two nodes where they can change when they come off. Let's put that under here. Oh, I know what's happened. This has changed size, hasn't it? There we go. Audio filters. Yes, I do. So hopefully now they will come down here. And in fact, what I would like to do, if I'm going to do this... Oh, these are all in the wrong place now. They're throwing me off. It's add a node here. Yeah, I knew it was going to do that. That's fine. And then I'm going to grab the two-lane one. Upgrade the end piece. Because then you'll get a lane for left and a lane for right. This is probably going to be a really bad... Yeah. Semi-temp solution to this problem. But we're just going to go with it, I think. Uh, let's just change that to... Oh, no. There we go. Bend. Let's go with that. 
and see what happens. And we're probably going to get a lot from off ramp to slip lane. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let's just keep an eye on this for a minute. This would be where a time lapse would pop in. But you're live. So you're having to just... Uh, every time the cool beans overlay comes up. Yeah, I, it makes me laugh as well. Oh, there we go. Look. Traffic's going down. Traffic's going down. My editor is fantastic. Really gets how I want things to work. And it's just brilliant. And these little things that keep getting added, I'm absolutely loving it. Ah. Oh. Yeah, playing without lame, uh, without despawning on is like, oh, I'm in this view. It is a learning curve, but I enjoy the learning curve. 64%. We've got rid of all that traffic. Where is the rest of the traffic? So we've turned this into a traffic fixing episode. Okay, so it's all coming in. Um, right, these are doing stupid things over here. So you don't need to stop for that. So go straight through, go straight through, no crossing. And this one, go straight through, go straight through, no crossing, no crossing. So you're coming off there, turning up here. Oh man, alive. Oh, what the heck? Uh, I need another stretch before we start this. Is there any way to get a preset of my visual settings? Yeah, there's so much that goes into my visual settings. You're not going to be able to see this. It's going to be so small. But this is Relight. And I have different settings for... If I put that there. If I come out of this view. There we go. It's probably a bit easier to see. So I've got one for my different builds. And I've got the UK City one. And this is the lighting. I want to take a screenshot of it and zoom into it. Or... Do you know what I'll do? I'll stick it on my Discord. I'll just grab that as a picture. Stick it on my Discord. So then if you want to go on there, I'll put it in the CS sharing. So you can go and grab that. There we go. Um, and along with that, I've got... What's going on? There we go. Uh, this down here, which is... Okay, let's get rid of that window there. Uh, what is this? Theme Manager. So I've got a mix. I've got loads of mixes. Uh, I've got the, my UK mix, which is a mix of all sorts of things. I'm not quite sure which theme it actually goes with, but I've got all sorts of other stuff that I've changed and adjusted. And I'm not sure if you can change the mix, but Relight Neutral. I think if you had that and my Relight settings, Relight Neutral, you'd probably be halfway there. But then the Dark Roads one is, I think it's like UK Road Project Revival. For some reason, this isn't showing that any of these are selected, as far as I can see. But anyway, that might get you sort of halfway there. Um, what happened on this map? I'll let someone else explain. Biffa broke it. Yeah, that's probably what we can say. But in a minute, it's like traffic problems. So it's this quadrant here. So let's just take a look at what's going on. So it's everybody coming on to the M20. Everybody coming on down here. Coming down here. Coming round here. Coming along here so they all seem to be converging which way are you going you're going up here and you're coming up they're all converging on this spot here and this guy is blocking sorry there guy and this person oh where do you want to go uh heavy arms 55 with two dollars thank you very much biffa used his background noises at work Hello, everybody. Biffa arms, heavy arms, Biffa arms, heavy arms work. Do you want to turn in? Yeah, okay. So you turning in here is causing an issue. I know there's trees on the road. Don't worry about it. We'll get that. Ah, go away. It's this, isn't it? Small pedestrian service area. It's this place here is causing the problems. Then these are all coming up and it's in the way. Okay, you know what we're going to do here then is we're going to use the move it mod. We're going to grab all of that and we're going to shiftify that over here so we've got some more space. I'm going to check where my next nodes are just so we haven't got anything going odd. That is a long stretch there. Let's add a node in there. Look at that. We're expecting a live traffic fix. No, you were not. Are you pleased we have a live traffic fix? Yes, you are. 
We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Get it all nice and flat. Yeah, do that. I'm going to put a roundabout in here. Oh, roundabout on a junction like this. Yes, a roundabout. Uh, Two-lane road. Oh, that is big. That sort of size. Do not want a two-lane road. Mm, yes, this is yet another toolbar mod. Does this. We're going to go for this one. We're going to go for that one. We're going to go for that. Go like that. We'll see how that goes. And then we'll do this. We'll do that. Control shift left click. Boink. And then we'll unpause. And we'll see what happens. I'll tell you what also is probably a good idea is we're going to grab this road. I'm going to bring that road all the way down there. Where's the zone for here? Mm, this one. So that is connected to that over there, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to make that zone bigger. Boink, 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 boink. There we go, and then we're going to get that, and we're going to just move it down the end here. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, a little roundabout around here as well. I was just literally thinking that as well. Um, if I grab that road, yeah, and then do that. And then actually I'm going to move this back a bit. So that was six grand, we're never going to get back again. And then we'll see how that goes. This doesn't need to be two lanes there, but... So they should go down and come out. If I change this one here to a road with a median, um, I want an asymmetrical road. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's get rid of that. Asymmetric. And I want that. So something like this would be great. So if I upgrade that. Is that already this road? That's the way I want it. So one up there, then one down there, and the other one can go the other way. And then it's two when it comes out here for the roundabout. Yeah. We'll do that. Um, and then here, I'm going to grab this, and that's going to go either or. And then you get a choice here of that one or that one. And then up there, they've got nose they can change direction. All right, let's just... I know it all looks a bit hawky balky. We'll, we'll get it working, and then we'll make it look nice. Keep doing Blighty. Blighty is back. So the next actual video, will, oh man, they're all just going to like block up the roundabout and please move and do things. I support Spurs. Yeah, Blighty will be back. It just needs to fix in now that it's fixed. Um, we'll, uh, we'll we'll add it back into the rotation of videos again. Hmm. Yeah, we're probably going to get a bit of an issue here. It's one of those situations where there is so much traffic that it's not even actually going to move and do what we need it to do. Honey chicken, thank you very much. Yeah, gridlocked. Because these are all trying to get out now and they can't because people are in the way. Traffic will be getting worse. Oh, actually, it's moving a little bit better up there. Let's rebuild that building. Build. There we go. Right, we'll leave that to unlock a little bit. So these over here are doing some weird hawky balkiness. Really not helpful. But then if there's so much traffic. Yes, yeah, so they've all got their own lanes. And all coming off down there. I might just leave that. Because now that's sort of going down a bit. Look, the main bit's moving. See, if this, if this is free, then it stops this hawky balkiness happening. This hawky balkiness only happens when there's no room. So, like, this is freed up now, which is good. So, that's freed up. Um, so, down here. So, they're all just trying to come out. Yeah, so, basically, it's just this little bit here. So, what roads have we got down here? We do have a four-lane road. And I'm pretty sure that is a four-lane road. Yeah. So, this should be a four-lane road all the way down here. Ah, oh, it's not. Okay. Yeah, we're going to upgrade that then. Make sure not to lead to anything. Give them extra lanes in each direction. Something paused there and I thought something weird was going to happen. There we go. So this is probably not four lane either. Because we definitely want at least two lanes going into the roundabout. And then that one's fine there. And then suddenly... Things are moving. Suddenly things are moving. Oh, no power or water. Okay, let's let's fix you up. 
So I'm going to just bring that. Let's turn off all me, all me things. Bring that and join that up there. Power. Oh, yeah, it's probably jumping across there before, wasn't it? So we're just going to go with one of these. I'm going to add that. Boink. Right by the side there. And also want to sort of sort out this road. It's a little bit of a mess, isn't it? If I went like this. Mm, I don't really want to do that because I want this to be sort of straight in there. I'm thinking of sort of turning that around, moving it down, <laughs> moving it again. Uh, come on, come out of that view. If we do that and get it right up over here. I was expecting this to be all queued up, queued back, you know what I mean? But it hasn't. Oh, we'll do something like that. I'm, I'm more worried about getting it working and I'll make it look nice later. We'll, we'll keep it going. It's going, look. Oh, there we go, look. So the traffic coming in is now no longer backed up, which is good. So now it's just people going down this way, and this is super busy. It's one of those things it will go down, but it's just taking so long. I mean, this technically should be a roundabout at the end here, and also this roundabout, people are cutting through here when they shouldn't be. And they're cutting through here when they shouldn't be. So... Do I want to put a teeny tiny roundabout in the end here? Just a teeny small one. Ooh, jumpy game. Probably not. I'm going to do another quick save. Hmm. What's the time? Oh, been nearly two hours. Good gravy. It's nearly four o'clock as well. Oh, a plus one what Tom Host says. Okay, let's find what Tom Host says. Too much intersections on the highway. Can you make one big parallel highway for on and off ramps? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure we're going to go for a complete change. It's 65%. It's, these have ended up quite close together. This one here. So all of this lane changing is causing this. But look, you can see it's not backing up as far here. So they are getting through. So what I happen, look, let's just watch this. This slip lane stops backing up. Let's speed it up. I'm on the right window. And then that means this slip lane will stop backing up, which is all of these round here, which then means this stops backing up. So this one's going down as well. Here, look. So when they start... Ah, oh, driving on the wrong side of the road. That's what it is. So, yeah. When there's a big, major issue, it then takes a long time to go down. There we go, look. So now those roads aren't backing up. We haven't got the hawky walky lane switch in. So now this one will go down, which is coming from all the way up here. There we go. There's the back end of it. Now that's gone down. So that's cleared up now, just by just by doing that. So now that's okay, which means there's less cars suddenly cramming into here. This main highway is all moving okay. That's gone down. So now if we follow this road in, we'll go this way around. I'll just slow it down a little bit. So going in is now okay. And coming out is okay. Down here, still a bit of a problem. There's okay. So that was a problem before. But now this isn't backing up so much. This will all start going down. So this is everybody coming off of... So they're coming in here. Let's just see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. So I'm going to grab this ro road that's coming in. So most of them are going on straight through. And some are coming up here. If I select that then, there we go. That's a better view, isn't it? So some are coming up, coming down there, and then heading out into the wider world. So they are using that as a cut through instead of coming up here and coming around that way. So, you know, automated traffic lights could actually work. But look, here we go. This is what I was saying. So now the main road traffic's gone down. Now this isn't going to be as bad. This, this bit here is a bit annoying. Because, pe oh, look, people are using this lane for two things. I just spotted it. Look. If we do that. And then everybody will start switching over to this lane. And it will make it go through here a lot quicker. I knew there was something going on there that was a bit funky. Yeah, so that connection there. Probably at the time I made it, there wasn't traffic down here. So it was like, oh, that'll be okay. We'll add to that road. 
But technically, I mean, they can get in and out over there, can't they? I'm going to sever this connection there. We don't need it. So now, this should be one left and one right. Yeah, so that's fine. That's better. They can get in the car park this way, and that'll stop people using this a cut through as well. Isn't GeForce now modless? I think there is a way of doing mods in GeForce now. And also, I'm pretty sure this needs a time traffic light because everyone's just going. I think it's give way at the minute. Yeah. Let's put in a one of these time traffic lights. I'm going to control left click and let it do its own thing. And we'll just sort of keep an eye on what's going on here. I'm going to move this again up here and I'm going to move that over. I had it all lined up before well and then another icon went into here and messed it all up oh i've lost it come back nope i want ah. oh that one there so let's just put that on top speed need to pedestrian tunnel do i use the rush hour mod no what i do have is this no despawning hard mode that might have just made it worse. <laughs> now everybody down here is queued up. I think this needs to be a roundabout, you know. That is normally what you would get at a junction like this. Like this one down here. And once that this has gone down, that will go down. Yeah, I do know what I'm going to do. It's a British build, isn't it? Let's, let's do it the British way. Stop. Remove. Let's grab that road there. And then let's do roundabouts. And I'm going to fit it in a slightly larger roundabout. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is move this walking path that everybody's using. Let's move these trees over. And yeah, pedestrian overpasses and things on here would probably help a lot. And then we're going to have control, shift, left click. And make sure that there's no weird lines. No. Everyone's like, what the heck is going on with this road? Once they've worked it out, they'll be fine. And I actually think even with something like this, we could go with three lanes, which would, I think, be a lot better. Let's do a three lane one way. Uh, which road should we use? Let's use this one. This is the first one I've seen. No, don't delete the thing. There we go. And then we've got all the trees in. Oh, no, I deleted the fence on it here we go and then we'll oh yeah it was like that and then we'll just get the move it mod and go ping ping and we're done uh let's put this fence back is that the fence i want yep there we go and then we'll just do the roundabout setup again control shift left click so now we get dedicated lanes we're going off okay okay and then we just need to move this down again Remember, remove enter spot junction on the roundabout. Yeah, I think when we do the automatic setup, it should have already done that. So, well, let's check. So, we do that one. Yeah, so this one, it's only when you go round it that you enter the block junction. Same on that one. I just saw that hedge in the road. Same on that one. Oh, darn it. It's like doing things over here. Can I do... Oh, man, it's like... The game is freaking out. If I do that, can I add a node in here? Yeah, be quiet. I can. And we sort of get that to run up against the roundabout like that. Hey, there we go. Problem solved. Grab that tree. Nope, this tree. Go on, you can do it. You can do it. I want this tree here. Pick a picker mod. Pick that tree. That is not that tree. That's not that tree either. <laughs> You're not going to do it, are you? You are not going to get the tree that... Do you know what? We're going to have a couple of little bushes instead. Oh. Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome. All right, let's just keep an eye on how this is going. Oh, look at that. This was all backed up all down here before, wasn't it? Not backed up anymore. So again... Oh, okay. We'll put it in this view. Again, we're going to see the same thing. Once one of these branches stops backing up, let's speed it up. Then this will move quicker. This will move quicker. Everything will move quicker. That road has parking on it. Does it now? That would be my fault then. Let us... Yeah, I'm deliberately not using the special roundabout roads because 
people will walk on them. It's got no parking on. I think that was actually set up when I did the control left click super set up with the traffic manager mod, so we're fine. Let's just keep an eye on this for a moment. Uh, median on the road into the pedestrian service centre. Yeah, I was going to do that, but I don't actually think... It's not a problem. There's not that much coming in here, so I'm not too worried. We shall see. We shall see. What is the traffic at? 78%. Look at that. A couple of well-placed roundabouts. So, yeah. This is all okay down the, the M20. Coming in this way, still backing up a bit. We're waiting for these guys to sort themselves out. This is always a nightmare over here at T Hampton Hub. So I'm just going to ignore that. But if these guys... It's, they're, they're get, it's getting out of here now is a problem, isn't it? Let's just observe why. Is there no giveaway or anything in here? Ah. So these are all going in. There's like lots of people crossing. I bet if we stop people crossing somehow with a little thing over the top of the road, look here, we could help them out. How about we do this? Um, oh man, this is going to be a bit of a bummer, isn't it? Let's... I only want to get trees. And, yeah, let's just do the trees first. So I'll move those up. And then if I do nodes, is this one going to be... Yeah, there's, like, nodes there. So if we do that and grab that node there and just go up. Just going to bring that one down a bit. And, yeah, the, tree, the bush goes through the trees, but it's all sort of part of the same thing. They're all sort of growing out of each other, so I'm not too worried about that. And then I'm going to put, like, a pedestrian path over the top and then ban crossing over here. And we may even make that a three-lane road to get in and out a bit better and stick a traffic light in. Let's let's sort this out. Let's, let's do this. So we're going to go one of these. And can I fit it in here? Don't let them make a right turn only straight on. Uh, nah, because that's like the white. They're only going to cross over the bridge further down. So we'll see. I'm going to do this first. So we're going to say if you want to cross. Uh, let's do a bit of that. And then we'll go up. Six. And see how that goes. And then, oh yeah, it's going to snap to that node, isn't it? This ain't going to fit in. Don't snap to the node. I'm going to put it there, and then I'm going to move it with the Move It mod. Yeah, this ain't going to fit in, is it? I'm going to have to... That's it. We'll go back down again. You'll snap into the node again. Please don't. Don't! Actually, I'll do it this way. We'll go up. And then we'll go up. Okay. So we've got that sort of thing going on there. I'm going to do this, and we're going to make that a little bit more like that. Do you know that hedge running along the side there? It's not that far off from being in a good spot. Oh, there's a node there, and then it's this one over here, isn't it? Is that it? Yeah. Oh, I've got this. Yeah, we'll go with that. And how high is that? Oh, man. Oh, man. No, that's not good, is it? That is not good. And Yeah, well, I've got no lights there. So adding the dedicated step for pedestrians, if I had lights, would be okay. How is my tea? My tea at the moment is non-existent um, because I've run out. I know, it's really sad. but So we're going to say no crossing. So now you've got to go up and over the top. So that's good. That's one thing. There they go, they're using it. And then this road here, I want an asymmetrical one. Three one, a three two, but that's this sort of size. And this one. Oh, it's like twice the flipping size. Hmm. Ha. Huh. Hmm. No T, I know, I know. Uh, Mrs. Biffer out is out, and my sons are out. So. 
Yeah. And do you know what, actually? Now I've done that, just having them stop doing the crossing, look at the traffic. Look, not backed up, not backed up. I think that even just that might solve this issue. Ah, oh, 83%. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Yeah, let's have a look at the lanes. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, we have left and... What I normally do is have the one that's crossing over having a dedicated lane. So if we do that. Uh, this one here. We've got a lane for each on that one there. Is this like a one-way road? How the heck have I got a lane for each? Oh, it is like one lane coming in there. It's like a, not an asymmetrical road is what I'm trying to say. Ooh, 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 ooh. We can, we can help with that. What am I looking for? This. I'm going to delete some stuff here, aren't I? Darn it. Let's do that and that. No, that. Okay, it's putting the these things in a weird spot. Do we have an asymmetrical road here? Yeah, let's try that one. That's better. So now we've got do, 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 this one here. So we'll have right, which crosses the traffic, having its own lane. Excuse me one second. And then straight on and left there. Is it lagging for you? Yeah, excellent condition, condition stream for me. It's all it's all okay for me. So, yeah. Um, and this one over here, I'm also going to grab that road. And go two lanes going in again. There we go. So straight on left gets its own, right gets its own. Oh, hiccups. Excuse me. That gets its own, and that gets its own, and we did over here already, didn't we? Yeah. And that's with no lights. That is just with give way and such, which, I, if I remember correctly, didn't even have give way up here. So that is a lot better. It's ebbed and flowed, a little bit of traffic there, but 82%. The right isn't crossing the traffic, the left is. What? Have I done one of them wrong? So if you go from here, right, you're crossing the traffic. Yeah. If you go here, you're going right, you're crossing the traffic. Left is just around the corner. If you go here, right, you're crossing the traffic. Left's just going around the corner. And if you go here, right, you're crossing the traffic. Left's going around the corner. Yeah. I think I'm doing okay. And then the only other thing that we could add... We could add a traffic light here. See, all of this. See, these people coming up here are trying to get out. Where are they all trying to go? Let's just pick that road. So a lot of them are coming up here. And they just want to go straight on. I am thinking... Let's just have a look. Get an overall view. Yeah, look, this is all solved now. That's good. I, let's try... <clears throat> excuse me. I'll have to stop soon. My voice is getting croaky. Let us try a traffic light in here. We'll do an automatic, we'll just let the game pick the settings. And we'll look at it the Whoa, jumpy game. We'll look at it this way. So we can see. We'll do it like that, both sides of the road. So at the minute it's backed up all the way down there. Here it's only backed up here to that Volkswagen. Let's see what happens. I'll we'll just sort of speed that up. Let everybody realise what's going on. And then we'll tweak it if we need to. You can have the pedestrian crossing band on the riverside as well. Um, we'll see. I mean, now I've done the lights, it will add an automatic pedestrian crossing part. So, we'll see. So, what we're going to get is this is going to back up more. Ooh, is it saving? I think it's saving. I'm not going to touch anything. Oh. But... There we go, it's going again. There we go, look, they're going now. So this is where we need to sort of tweak the light. So obviously we need a longer stretch on these ones. So let's just come out of that view. And we're going to do a little bit of hawky-borky tweaking of the lights. So if we just stop. So skip. 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 I can't really tell. <laughs> let's just uh, skip. So that one does the left, which seems to be the right. Uh, the left, sorry. 
and then it's this one here. So it's step two. So I'm going to edit that, and we're going to go 15, 20, 25. Just randomly pick some numbers, start, and then I'm going to get it back to that one and let that go. Oh, look, this side's gone down. Look, look at all that. All gone down, this side. So it's just getting these through enough. Let's speed up. And then we've got these along here. So we'll just, once that gets going, then it'll be like the other parts of the traffic fits. Once one road sorts itself, then the other roads have time to get through. Something isn't right on the other side of the river. Yeah, this is all okay now. I know this bit's a bit blocked up. They're all sort of sat here waiting for each other. But when these when these cars go, when it's their turn, these should come out. But let's just watch what's happening. So now these are going. There we go. Now these are going and they're sort of not getting through much. I'm not entirely sure that a light there is the thing that I want. What I want is I want these people here to have another way out. Because I bet if I check where they're going... Uh, let's click there. So a lot of them are heading out over here down the highway and all that sort of thing. And the only way they can do it is up that road. Whereas if they had another way on this road to get somewhere, like we've got there, up here, then I bet that would that would be the, the problem solved. Let's try it. Let us try it. So if we go from, let's do this, from sort of here and go into that node that we've got there, like that. And why is there trees? Oh, darn it. That's my fault. And this one and this one. There we go. And then we might start seeing people coming up here instead. Onto the A76N. But at the minute, they're all facing the wrong way. And also here, this would seem like a good place to put a road going through. Because we've got a roundabout already here. So if we go like this... That would just seem like an, a, an obvious connection. Um, we'd have giveaway there. And then also this is going to have no crossing lines on there. So we'll take those away. And we'll do giveaway. So now people can cut through here instead. Which would make more sense. Whoa. Jumpy game. Jumpy game. Yes. Yeah, a lot harder to run city skyland when you're streaming as well although my cpu is at 28 percent my memory is at 63 my gpu is at 45 i'm playing in 4k streaming in 1440p 60 whatever there we go look so some more coming down here instead to get up onto the highway okay yeah these traffic lights i'm just wondering whether they actually work better without them I'm going to fiddle. This is, this is the sort of thing, you see. I could fiddle with this for ages. Ages and ages and ages. So these need more time to get out as well. So which which one is that? Uh, so let's start. Let's skip. Let's skip. That's the left. So it's this one. Number four. So I'm going to change that to eight and 15. Because that is not quite as many. And we'll start it up. Well, let me just run it for a bit. I'm sort of fiddling a lot. We're not letting it run. So let's just let it run. Biff Alive, it is Habs fan. Are you not using NVENC? I am. That's why my CPU is only at 50%, 45%. When I'm doing all of this and streaming and playing in 4K and got graphical mods. Chopping off the tops of the trucks. No, the bridge is high enough for the trucks to go underneath. So we're fine. The lanes have changed on the traffic lights. Have they? Are you sure? I don't think they have. I think we're fine. All right, I'm just going to let it run. Change the lanes to no crossing the traffic. No, no, no. It needs to cross the traffic when you get a banning heavy traffic. Do you know what? I could just make the whole city a pedestrian zone and <laughs> not worry about it and do that instead. But we're not going to do that. 
Is 8 gig of RAM enough for City Skylines? Vanilla City Skylines, you might get away with it. It's now left only, not straight and left. Okay, I'm not quite sure where you mean. That's got both. Let me check. I'll check. I'll check. Do, 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 do. So we've got that. Oh, yeah. Crossing traffic, so it should have go that way. You were right. Oh, yeah. It switched all of these around, doesn't it? That's weird. Is that some setting that I've missed? Raj Storm, member for two months. It's alive. It is. T Village Builder, thank you very much for your support on the channel. So that should be like that. So I wonder what it was that switched that around. And that should be like that. Okay. Let's just leave it going. I might just step away from this. Thank you for streaming 1440p. I might even up it to 4K next time. I don't know. We'll see. I'm assuming the quality is fine. I've not sort of checked back the stream or anything. How are we going over here? So people are using this little road. It's not blocking up up there, which is good. What is it overall? The pedestrian walkway is not working properly. 80%. You know, I mean, normally I would just leave it at that. And Yeah, there's grass coming through. I know, I know. But people can walk through grass. I'm not worried about what it looks like at the moment. We'll just sort of live with that. But they're not crossing here, which is what the point was. So that's fine. Here, look, they're all waiting. See, look, they'll have a step on the lights now to go through. If you wait, there we go. Step on the lights to go through. So it's okay. I think, do you know what? I think there's options in the time traffic lights to not let it change your lanes and stuff. So, you know, we can sort of see. Do you know what? Another bridge connection over here would also probably help because we've got this one. And then it's like the only other ones we've got are like big junctions. Or the next one from there is like all the way non-existent. So, you know, maybe we can take this. And now we've got this over here. This would seem like a good place for a bridge across like this. And then we can just have these paths go back. Yeah, it's going to say distance too short, isn't it? Nope. There we go. There we go. And there we go. We'll do that. And we'll do that down here. And you can just keep going. And if I lift it up a little bit. Lift and lift. Boink, boink, boink. And this one. Boink, boink, boink. There we go. There we go. I think that's all okay. Yeah. And this one needs to lift up a bit here, doesn't it? Look. Come on. Get over the thing. Oh, yeah. Start. Yeah, these sort of things go a bit weird. We will just we'll live with that. Yeah, I've lifted the path. This one needs to come up a little bit. Trying to get all of these to sort of match up perfectly was a bit... I was on a hiding to nothing, to be honest with that. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But these now might... See, what's, what will happen is these cars here won't suddenly turn around and go, oh, look, there's another way to go. They'll just literally sit there. Hang on a minute. Where are these? Oh, it's the sucky trucks. What are you doing? I'm here trying to fix all the flipping traffic. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> and he's making it worse. Yeah, look. Why is there water here? I don't know where it comes from. But now suddenly, thanks. Now suddenly we're going to get, this is going to go down. You watch. This will fix it. I'm sure. Where's the next one is over there? All right. I'm going to leave it like that. We're just going to keep an eye on all of this. Oh, this has gone down over here. Look, this is just parked cars. Oh, man. I love it. I'm going to have to fix It's like nearly two and a half hours. I'm getting a sore throat. My energy is inspiring. Oh, thank you, Ashish. That's very kind of you. Thank you all for coming. It's like been fantastic. I will do more streams like this. And the one and a half thousand of you that have left nearly a thousand likes. Wow. Please. The lot. Oh, look at the traffic. Is there more sucky trucks? 
what have you learned in this fix you've learned that we don't use building themes anymore we now use yeah they're stopping over here to let these guys out we now use district styles plus which is good i think these are just it's because of the time lights now that we've got this set up far too high for the amount of people that are there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pause the game i'm gonna stop that i'm gonna remove it and then i'm gonna control left click just put in a standard one and that should be okay and then it will sort of keep things moving a bit better um click like yes thank you peter walker so we've learned that we don't use building themes anymore we use district styles plus which is good we've also learned that stopping people crossing over at a junction and having a little path over the top please ignore the grass works fine and adding new connections like this works fine we've caused another traffic jam over there let's just look at this junction here we'll come back to that i would any other day if i was just doing traffic fixing i'd carry on fixing my throat is getting really sore so i'm gonna say thank you very much for watching thank you so much for the support we've got over a thousand likes you are just amazing the lanes probably got messed up again oh I'll, we'll worry about the lanes another time i'm going to put this on scroll around the city view and we're going to enjoy some of the views if you enjoyed please leave a like subscribe if you're new and i will see you i'll be back saturday with a normal video it will be back to new city on saturday have a great day take care everybody bye bye